Welcome back to VMP Performance. My name is Matt, and today we're going to go over the E85 starter kit. I'm gonna show you what's in the starter kit, and we're gonna go over some myths and facts about E85 and how each one of these things is gonna benefit you. So, let me show you. Okay, so in the E85 starter pack, we're gonna include these following items. Uh, most importantly, you're gonna start with the fuel drain kit. This is a hose and a fuel line fitting. This will fit into the factory fuel connector up by the fuel rail. And then we include this jumper harness that is going to jump the fuel pump driver module in all um, coyote powered vehicles. It's gonna cover the Mustangs and the trucks. So basically you're going to disconnect the fuel line at the fuel rail. You're gonna plug this in. This goes into a chain, uh, I'm sorry, a separate tank. You're going to plug this into the driver module and turn the key on and it's going to pump this out. It is very important when you have an E85 tune that you run just E85. You don't want any fuel left in the tank. No 93, no 91, certainly no 87. It needs to all be out. Uh, the reason for this is, is that an E85 tune, uh, tune is designed for a true E85 solution. You don't want to run, unless you have a flex fuel tune, that is different. Flex fuel tunes are capable of learning, but we're talking strictly E85 tunes, you need to have just E85 in the tank. Which moves us on to our next project. The fuel tester. Uh, this will cover two things, uh, but most importantly for you guys that live in states that have winter blend E85, it sometimes isn't E85. It sometimes is E70, 75, E60, I've even seen E50. Uh, so the importance of using this is that when you go into a station and you fill up, you should probably test, if you haven't done it recently, you should probably test the fuel that is coming out of the pump so you know the alcohol content because if you have an E85 tune and you run it on an E50 and it's a boosted application, you might have a bad day. So if usually if you have an E85 tune and it tests out at E70, for example, it's usually not a big deal unless you're running real ragged edge stuff. So then we move on to our third thing, which is we're including a fuel jug in there for you guys that don't live near a pump and you have to go get the fuel. Uh, you can keep five gallons of it stored. Uh, it's very important that E85 be stored in a sealed container. So we're including these that seals nice and tight, doesn't let any moisture into the fuel. E85 will actually uh, store for a reasonable amount of time if you keep it in a sealed container uh, and away from, uh, I believe it or not, sunlight can affect it, things like that, helps leach moisture into it. So keep it sealed, keep it in the garage. It'll actually store for a reasonable amount of time and then you can just put this in the car as needed. So we're gonna move on to a couple other uh, myths associated with E85. Um, the, one, the main one that I wanted to go over was that people say, oh, you cannot run E85 on factory fuel lines. Yes, you can. If your car was made anything after like the 80s, you have stainless steel lines, you have plastic lines, you will be fine. Don't worry about the fuel lines. We've also shot videos on how to use the fuel drain kit on a Shop Talk Saturday. We've done a video at Shop Talk Saturday on how to test the fuel. So how to use these has already been covered. You can check our other videos and we'll show you how to do that. Also, the links will be in the description below. Um, another myth about E85, as I briefly covered, is the storage. They say it doesn't store well. It actually stores reasonably well as long as you keep it sealed. If you're gonna store it for a long time, I suggest you using an additive like a Lucas Fuel Stabilizer. It's the green bottle. Sell it at any auto parts store. That works really good at helping this stuff store a lot longer. So one last thing that I wanna cover on this is that one of the myths, but it's, it is, there's some truth behind it, is, is oil changes. Um, running E85, especially in colder climates, you do want to change the oil more often, but it is not the end of the world. You don't need to be doing 1,000 mile oil changes. Generally, if you have an E85 vehicle and you actually drive it and you get the oil temperature up to an operating temp, it will boil and burn all of the water and stuff out of the oil and it won't milkshake the oil. If you live two minutes from work and the car never really warms up all the way or you live in a real cold climate, it might be an issue. Uh, just keep an eye on it. You can also send the oil off for analysis. Generally, we tell people to do stick to the 3,000 mile to 5,000 mile oil change intervals on E85. I probably wouldn't do the extended drain stuff that some people like to do, but I, you're, you're okay. You don't have to get crazy with it. If you would like to see more about the myths and the facts of E85, we just did a live feed not too long ago. The link to that will be below where Joe and I went into a whole big tangent on all of the things that we like and don't like in the E85 industry here. So besides that, we just wanted to put together a kit that basically gets you guys in the door for E85. It covers the grounds of draining the tank, testing the fuel, storing the fuel, 
so it'll make things a little bit easier on you. The link to purchase this product is below in the description. And remember that if you want to see any other content from VMP or you like checking back with us, remember to like, share, and subscribe, and we will continue to put out more content.